Well, folks, it's about 5.30 here in the evening, and it is a beautiful evening. And all the rain we've recently had sure is making the grass come in nice and green here. Here's a trail down that way. Anyways, I'm going to get down into the hole. i got a couple hours I can probably dig. So, no time to waste. Let's get to it. We'll see you on the first good find. Well, folks, that's the hole that I have been digging in. But, uh... It appears I've got a major cave in going on there, and I'm just not prepared to dig that all out today. There's my talent pile here. But anyways, I've moved down, just down into here, one of the first sections I was digging here, originally. And I thought I'd focus on here, perhaps, and uh, maybe work my way up along that way. There's a fair bit of ground exposed here, so, but there's still... Just a ton of big roots and stuff here. Anyways, gonna work around that. I gotta get busy. Got a lot of work ahead of me here. All right. I just rolled out. Broken poison, you can see the skull and crossbones there. Poison liquid iodine, that one would have been. This here is some sort of Art Deco style food jar, you can see there, so they were quite popular in the 30s. So we're getting down in the proper layer here now. We'll just keep going. Digging around. Okay, I got an interesting find right here, folks. It's like a tube vial. Check it out. It's got some lettering either in it or on it. Let me get focused here. There we go. Kidney something. Kidney flushers. This is a screw top. I can't tell if that's paper in there with writing on it or if that's Right on the glass. Anyways, it's an interesting find. I'll have to check it out better. Get it cleaned up here. Alright, I'm going to keep digging away. Well, there's a lot of work involved in getting a new hole started, folks. And this is definitely a lot of work. Haven't got much for finds so far. This little cognac on a bottle come out. It's a screw top. Uh, here. I found several of these in some of my past videos. So there's that. It's got a dragon on it. And there's a nice screw top of scrip ink come out as well. And it's all embossed on the face. Pretty good size one. Scrip. S K R I P. But well, that's just a couple. Probably from the 30s, those ones. A lot of work getting in there. There's my shovel there. So, whew, I like to be able to stand up there and dig. So, got to go down and in. All right, I'll get back at it. This is like starting a new hole.
Well, I was just thinking, folks, how I need to be down quite a bit deeper because there's still quite a few roots in here. And the further down I go, the less roots there is. And as I was thinking that, a couple things just rolled out. First thing I spotted was this here, a little amber cork top, round one. No uh, embossing on it other than the base. And I can't quite make that out. ACB Company. Looks like the Dominion glass mark on the base as well. Just a nice little amber cork top. And then this here as well. And this looks like a cork top bromo. Which is exactly what it is. Nice. So that's at least one half decent find right there. Nice cobalt blue cork top bromo. Haven't found one of those in a while. And the other thing, the last thing I seen was this here, which looks like the base to a ginger beer. It's quite thick and heavy. So, might be in a good layer here. You know, keep scraping away. Well, folks, I just had a big major cave in here. So that's going to require a lot more digging. But it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's exposed quite a bit here. So i got to cut all these roots out now. And then get uh, some more back breaking, shoveling work. If anybody plans on uh, starting a hole on the side of a bank like this, be prepared for lots of cave-ins. Not that I'm uh, one for telling anybody how to do stuff. That's really not my place. I'm just out here doing it myself. Alright, so I'm going to get busy. If I find anything interesting, I'll get you back up. Alright, so i got a bunch of the roots cleared out here. Let's go and see. What's along the back wall here? I see there's a couple of things. Here's a stoneware lid. Oh, that's in pretty good condition. Little chip on it right down here. Nice and shiny. Might be worth hanging on to. Um, I see this looks like a cork top here. Yep, it's just a uh, graduated med. Here's something porcelain here. Huh. Well, a porcelain tube. Interesting. It's broke though. Anything else? Don't really see anything else right offhand. Alright, I'll haul a bunch of this stuff back and see if anything else is exposed. Alright, I got some of this collapse dug out and I'm in here and I have exposed a square amber bottle. I haven't seen the finish yet so I don't know if it's cork top or screw top or what, but I thought, yep, just in case it's something good. I don't see any embossing on it either. Ah, nice, it is a cork top. Nice and big. I don't see any embossing, but uh, no, nope, there's no embossing, but that is a nice big square chemical bottle. Looks to be machine made, but nonetheless, nice bottle. Looks to be in good condition. Okay, folks, well, I got a pretty good start on this today. I'm going to get out of here now. I didn't get a whole lot for fines, but that's okay. Next time will probably be better. I did get a few inks here. This one here is another scrap ink, so that's two of those I pulled out today. Uh, this one here is a, looks like it's quite old. It's got some numbers on the base, some letters. It is a screw top, but it might end up being manganese glass. Here's a little cork top one, and it's base embossed Schaefer's ink. Got this tube here. It's got lettering all over it. Not quite sure what it is. I'm going to take it and clean it up. Looks like it says benzoline or something. Inhaler, maybe? I don't know. Anyways, we'll take that. And of course, this big amber cork top. Seen that one? There's an old Buckley's, probably from the 30s. I might take that too. That's actually a pretty sturdy bottle. I got a bunch of them though already. Anyways, that's going to be it. Not sure, like I say, what kind of video this is going to be, so this could be the end of it here. Overnight.
Hello, YouTubers. Thanks for joining me here for another historical video transmission. I appreciate you taking the time to join me here. And in this old video, I went down to the honey hole and started a new hole down there because the one I was previously digging in had had a major collapse. You could see up the hill how it just all the ground just all kind of sunk in and slid down. So I went down to a hole I previously was digging in about two years ago, right where I when I started right there, and uh, started working on that. But before we get into these bottles, I want to show you this bottle, and I picked this up tonight for twenty nine dollars. Sky Vodka, established 1992, San Francisco, USA. Beautiful blue bottle. Check it out. Born in San Francisco in 1992, Sky Vodka is filtered with California limestone and uses water with Pacific minerals. Well, there you go. How to be more Pacific. <laughs> Uh, get your drinks ready, folks. All right. Okay, so, I would say probably all of these finds are from the early 1930s. All right, well, let's get into this one right here is the first decent find. And it's the cork top Bromo Seltzer. Nice embossing. Emerson drug company from Baltimore. I like the way the light shines on that and kind of changes the color of the uh, camera. Anyways, there that is. Nice bottle. Cork top. And then also, here's another version of it. And this is also a Bromo Seltzer, but it's embossed up around the shoulder here. And it's a little later version, of course. And it is a screw top. So there's the two of them. They both come out of that same hole. Always love the blue ones. And the cobalt blue bottles are so easy to sell, too. People just love them. Round one, fight! Next up, I got this cork top slick chemical bottle and it's not a bad find but there is another type of square chemical bottle down there that I found a couple of and I would prefer to have been that one and I got that right here actually I'm gonna compare it there it is there check it out it's a darker amber color it's got uh, like a round ridge up here and it is embossed with the fluid ounces up around the shoulder. I would say this is a much nicer bottle, but I'll take either one any day of the week. Oh, we know what that means. Drink time. Oh. Double whammy. And moving right along, we got a screw top cognac Monet bottle with the dragon on the face of it. Cognac Monet brandy bottle. This one's got some sort of funky line here. I can feel it with my finger. It's almost like it's not a crack, but it's uh, raised off the bottle. Some sort of imperfection. Two lids, stoneware one and a glass one. Stoneware one's got a little bit of damage around the edge here, but it would have been a beauty. Check out the glaze on that. It's like a mirror. Look, you can almost see my reflection in there. No, I don't have on the Grocho mask. Probably should have. And here's a little candy dish lid. I don't have anything to fit that, but uh, or anything that it would fit on. What a nice find. Another little corker from the 1930s, most likely. ACB company, in case anybody's wondering what is on the base. 
no bell, but cheers, folks. Okay, so I thought this was an interesting find. Kidney flushers. I took the lid off it, and it would appear that that's a paper label, perhaps, wrapped around inside that bottle, but it is basically disintegrated into just mush. Like, if you touch it, it, you know, it melts in your fingers. But anyways, there you go. Cool find. Most likely from the 1930s. That would be my guess, since everything else is basically from there. Here's a nice ink. It's a scrip. 1932. Owens, Illinois glass mark. Or no, it's not a scrip. So, so, yes, it is a scrip right there. Look. Schaefer scrip. 1932. And it's also embossed up here with the uh, fluid ounces. Nice shape and bottle. And a second script ink of a different style consumer glass mark on the base so after 1918 I think or 1917 something like that highly embossed bottle beauty too bad they weren't a different color like even the amber or green or something would be nice and another ink bottle which also has a consumer glass mark on it Hmm. Thought that one might turn uh, out to be manganese glass, but I think the date's a little too old for it. A couple of years too old for manganese glass, I'm afraid. <laughs> Saved by the bell. We got an octagon cobalt blue Noxzema bottle. And you know it's not Zima because it says so right on the base. We get focused on it. There you go. 1930s little jar. And finally, folks, is this interesting tube? Benzedrine. Can you see that? That is a brand of amphetamines inhaler from the 1930s. And I can't make out much more of the writing on there. In pretty rough shape. But basically the instructions say to take off both ends, and only that one can I get off. So you must just take both off, ends off and inhale whatever was in it. And if I shake it, I can feel there's something in there. It's almost like, well, it's not making a noise, but it's there's definitely something in there. Something soft. So anyways, that was an interesting find. Wish it was in a little better condition, but it isn't. <laughs> okay folks stay tuned for the next video and thanks for watching this video and we'll see you all later over and out folks have a great day i need to get back into that bottle of vodka <laughs>